Peace, peace. Welcome to another P. Die Halo experience. We're going to make this brief, but we want to talk about some serious issues here in America, mainly in the black community. One of the biggest issues in America is the black family not being together. We all know that. But we need to delve into what are some of the factors that bring about black families not being together or united. So as I think, I say, okay, yeah, it's a lot of black men out there that are deadbeats. I got an older brother that's a fucking deadbeat. I got a cousin that's a fucking deadbeat. But judging by their spirit, I'm not surprised. So I'm not going to sit here and act like I don't personally know deadbeat ass niggas. I can't stand deadbeat niggas. And I'll let a motherfucker know real quick, you's a fucking deadbeat. We got those type of niggas, and then you got the dude that get caught up. You know what I'm saying? He, he trying to get money. He trying to do whatever he do. He might get into an incident, might land himself behind bars. So you got a father, you got a father's child out there. You know what I mean? Baby mother acting all wild with it. We see that on a regular basis. There ain't really much you could do about that part. Then you got the man who's doing what he got to do to provide for himself, his kids, and the woman. And the woman is giving him slack all the way through. So much so that it's diminishing or destroying the good fortune that that may be around them and women are so selfish when it comes to that shit man why is it that women never think about the children in every situation they never think about the children bro they only care about what they want their desires and if you're a woman out there and you listen and you feel like this don't pertain to you and you're one of the women that, that stick by her man and you're faithful, you're loyal, you know what I mean? You show him that you care, you play your part, I ain't talking to you. You're a real woman, I ain't even, this don't even pertain to you. This pertains to the woman who puts herself first before everybody, even the kids. You bitches gotta stop, man. It's like, you're giving women all in America a bad name. And these are all races of women that's in America. But it's mainly black because I'm I'm black and I'm around black people more. You know what I'm saying? So I get to see it up close and up personal. If you got a baby by a man and you live with that man, you should not be coming to the next man's house especially with that man's baby. Especially with that man's baby. If you doing shit like that, you old, you old female that don't care. You just want to get some, some beefazoid. You don't care about the kid. You understand what I'm saying? And then these chicks like to play games. They'll, they'll fuck who they please, fuck who they please. And then go back to the nigga like they've been so faithful. Or, oh, this nigga stressing me. He's stressing me out. He's stressing me out. Bitch, you got a whole nother nigga somewhere. You got a whole nother dude. I don't respect shit like that. Growing up, I used to be a real gentleman, man. My father taught me how to be that. And the first subject to test that out was with my mom's. I made sure I got flowers for a birthday, a Mother's Day. I would always acknowledge my mother. Still do. You know what I'm saying? But when I was younger, I was on it. Uh, these women don't deserve that shit at all. These women don't deserve Not all of them. It's a few out the bunch. They deserve that shit. Just for being good people. But for the reason why men would give women gifts and all that stuff, they don't deserve it. They don't deserve it. 
You know what I mean? Bad enough that most most that most women are refurbished. And and don't get mad because I'm saying refurbished. A man can't be refurbished because he's supposed to. You know what we do? We conquer all. You know what I mean? When a woman's body is is much more sacred, it's much more delicate. It's it is to make it's the one that that yields to life. This is why women are so prone to getting vaginal diseases and conditions because their, va their, their vagina is very sensitive. That all those organs in their body are very sensitive. It's not made for different niggas to be split splashing up in it. It's made for one man. That pussy made for one man. Possibly two, because you got them two lips. But even then, nah. Once you dedicate yourself to somebody, you start you start something, you finish it. You finish it, nigga getting on your nerves, just fucking leave. But a lot of bitches want their cake and eat it too. Y'all want to deceive the nigga that you with and still do you. It ain't going to pan out to nothing. All it's going to pan out to is that man not really showing you the respect that he once did. You know what I'm saying? It's going to cause stress upon you, him, and the children. Arguments and all this other shit. But nobody ever talks about the fact that most of these situations are started by women. They start shit, bro. You could be doing everything you got to do. Getting money, taking everybody out to eat, all that shit. And it seemed like once, it's like once a nigga is elevating, that's when the bad news come. That's when the, the, the bad shit that she do come out or what she doing come out. And then even when a nigga is declining in finances and he he's struggling, that's when the bad news and the shit she did comes out. But in the in-between time, they don't seem that way. You know what I'm saying? saying? Y'all gonna make men not believe in none of this shit at all. There's a dude out there right now that's probably in love and think that it's gonna last forever, but his bitch ain't shit. And only and, and the people who know your bitch ain't shit is the niggas that been with her or the people that know somebody been with her. But she walking around like everything cool. See, a lot of people don't care about their image, especially in black neighborhoods. And like, you know what I mean? A lot of people don't care about their image. They don't care if people know they smoke crack. You know what I mean? They don't care if people know that the woman's a prostitute. They don't care about that. They that's the only shield of honor that they can they can come up with. That's not no shield of honor. It's a shield, it's a shield of shame. It's a shield of shame. And I see why, like, you know, growing up in the neighborhood, and I don't give me don't get it twisted, nigga. I do I earned my respect. You know what I mean? There's a lot of motherfuckers that don't like me. There's a lot of niggas that don't even know me that 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 hate me. You know what I mean? But the thing is, I'm keeping it real, son. I hate seeing that shit. I hate to see that we're looked upon as the lowest of the low. Whether you in the hood or not, but when you a black person in the hood, you're looked upon even lower. People expect you to be a thot. People expect you to be a thug, a drug dealer, a robber. They expect shit like that. And I'm thinking about our children Mine first, because they're mine. But I'm speaking for all of our children. Fathers. No matter what you into, if you love your children and you love yourself, be the best man and father you can be with those children. You you, you may not be able to control what a, what a female do. Fine. But all you can do is be the best you. Give them a, a, a good example of what a responsible adult functions like. Because if we leave it in the hands of, of modern day women, is all we're gonna do is create the next generations of Cardi B's and, and Nicki Minaj's and even Foxy Brown's and Little Kim's. Yes, 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 they all was on a slut shit. They made, they made it by being on a slut shit. That's what that's what little girls look up to. That's what they want to be like. And they mothers be condoning it. They mothers don't even say nothing about that shit. 
You should see the shit be little girls walking around with short skirts on and grown women clothes on with makeup. I'm like, this is a fucking little girl, bro. Who's her parents? Who's her parents? I be feeling sorry for my 13-year-old son. What type of girl he gonna end up getting? I see why this, this little boy like white girls and, and Asian girls and shit like that. Because maybe he's looking for a certain decency within the girl. I don't know. Or maybe he just think they pretty. I don't know. But shit. I know I'm going to be his father. And I'm going to be in his life. And I'm going to teach him not to discriminate against all women. But keep your eyes open and don't be so quick to trust. You damn right I'm going to teach him that. Every man got to protect himself. Now as far as my daughter's concerned. Daddy going to be there. I don't give a fuck what I got to endure, man. There's certain things that I go through with people in the world, man, that could probably land me in jail. I'm going to be honest with you. But I avoid all that shit just to raise my children, especially my baby girl. I'm going to raise her to be an empress. And she's going to be super smarter than what she already is. She's going to be on my motherfucking hip. You heard? And I'm going to teach her the right way. I'm going to teach her about love and marriage before fornication. And I advise every man out there to do the same. See, most men be like, oh, yeah, I got this. My daughter, I got this. I got this. I got this. Niggas don't even be living with their fucking daughters and talking about, I got this. She good. She good. Nah, nigga. Because it's worse if your daughter don't live with you. It's way worse if your daughter does not live with you. Because we all know that women don't care. When they need some dick, they're going to invite a man over and bring, man, and bring that man around your kids. Probably various guys. I don't know. But as far as my history is concerned, as far as every dude I know, I don't know one man that hasn't went to go see a female to have sex with her while a kid was in that house. Shit, I done had a woman with the baby sleeping in the in the bed right there while I had her bent over. You know what I'm saying? And her baby is asleep, and she 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 had my crib with her, her baby, and I'm smashing her. This was not long ago, and I've done it other times before. So, y'all know what I'm talking about, man. Man, y'all gotta be on y'all shit. Raise these baby girls right. Because if we do it right this time, we can change the generation of how women think. These women today, they gone. They gone. Leave them. If they're, I can't even give it a, a good age range. You know what I'm saying? Because you know these, these females start very young. But the younger they are, the better chance they got to be saved and be better, better people. To, be, to grow up to be decent women. But if these bros is like uh, 26, 27 and up and got kids and drinking and got on drugs all the time, nah. Leave them bitches in the gutter. Raise your daughters, my brothers. Raise your daughters. Because if you let the woman that you made the baby with raise her by herself, what they going to grow up to be? Now, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of brothers out there that got some decent baby mothers, you know what I'm saying, whether they with them or not. And much blessings for having that. That's a blessing within itself. Because no man want to worry about is his kids good because his baby mother's a stupid bitch. You know what I'm saying? No man want to worry about no shit like that. But raise your kids right, man, and be there for them as much as you can. You know, even if you ain't working right now, you might not have no money, whatever the case may be, man, raise them right. So, and be, just by being there, just by giving them good advice, you know what I mean? It don't cost nothing to give them knowledge and wisdom and shit like that. But, um, yeah, it's 2023, y'all. No longer putting these women on pedestals at all. The only one that's going on that pedestal is them damn babies with me. It's going to be me and them babies on that pedestal. And all the men out there that feel the same way, man, give a give a like, leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. This is the P Dot Halo experience, man.
Power.